this here is a little bit of grade 10 now. So let's say here, which system of linear inequalities has the point 3, 2 in its solution set? So it's saying it has the point 3, negative 2 in solution solution set and we're given a b c and d so let's we have to, we have to actually uh verify all of these ones here right so let's do uh let's do let's let's look at a first a here states that y here is less than negative three and uh y here is b or sorry uh y has to be or sorry x has to be in between two thirds of x minus four no, 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 sorry, not in between. Y just has to be less than uh, less than this this kind of function here. So let's see. Um, and in this case, Y is negative two, right? So remember, this here is X. This here is Y, right? Okay. So let's do the, this. Let's use. Uh, I'm not going to say this is A. So let's do, let's do this one first. So let's verify that Y belongs to here, right? So let's sub in our numbers. Y is negative two. Negative two is indeed uh, less than negative three. So that's good. It meets the first satisf satisfaction here. And then y here is at negative 2 again. And it's, uh, it has to be less than or equal to 2 thirds times x here, which is 3 minus 4. Because negative 2 is less than or equal to 2 thirds times 3 here is just simply 2 minus 4. Right? And then um, negative 2 uh, actually equals 2, right? 2, two in this case. So that's, that's okay. Let me just check uh, my solution here first. Uh, negative two is uh, this less than, less than, this here, negative two is greater, or here, it says here, negative three is greater than negative two. This is actually wrong, right? Because I have here, negative three is less than negative two, not greater than, which means this here condition is wrong, which means A is not the correct answer. So I don't know why I wrote a check mark here. That's my fault. I think I got threw off by the, uh, the negative sign. So sorry about that. So I checked A here, that's, uh, which is incorrect here. So A is incorrect. Um, let's do B now. So if A is incorrect here, I can look at the sign, right? So it's greater than, so I know A here is incorrect. I also know C is incorrect here by the same logic. So let's check B and D here. And B and D only has this, this switch in sign, right? And if you actually use logic in this case, um, if I have, I know that this here, Y has to be less than negative three, right? Cause I, or sorry, negative three here, right? Cause negative two is less than negative three, right? Or sorry, it's greater than negative three. So that's so that's fine. Which means I'm looking for something like this, right? Which means I have uh, uh, B and D would be my answer for this one. And then for because because I solve for this uh, linear system as well here, um, I have to say that uh, instead of I ha this is this actually satisfied this equation here. So I'm looking for something like this in the red, right? Y has to be uh, less than or equal to um, two thirds x minus four. So I'm looking for this this guy here, are these two things here? Y is greater. Uh, y here is greater than negative three, and y here is less than two thirds minus four, which means my only option here is, uh, let's see, my option here is. I'm trying to think of what this is. Negative two. Nope. Less than negative two. So don't think it, any of them are here. So I mean, that means I do have to solve for B and D actually in this case. So let me do that. Um, I, Cause I don't think any of these actually might uh, answer these questions here. So uh, I'm solving for B and then D here wouldn't be an answer. So it's actually my, I defaulted my answer to be, um, let's see. Uh, to be B here. And the reason why the answer is B here is because negative two equals two, right? So in this case, I'm using only this, I'm using this condition here where it says that Y is equal to this. Um, so that's, so but basically, cause I have your negative two, these numbers don't change here, right? So again, I know that this here, negative two equals negative two. So all of these actually satisfy, um, satisfy our Y variable. So we were only ta talking about this uh, section here and everything of these uh, the section here changes, right? So I'm looking for this specific condition here, which is B. So B here is my correct answer. Um, so that's great. And this here, they, they plugged it in, so it's fine. Um, and they, they actually did the same, uh, they did the same logic as I did and they only checked for this first condition here. So I'm gonna say here, perfect solution and good logic. Sweet. Thank you.